Hey, you go to my school, right? Yeah. Hey, nice to see you. Having a good summer? Yep, lots of time to fish. You? Same. I'm just learning, though. It looks like you might be thinking about releasing your bait into the water. Yeah, I'm done for today. Did you know that it's illegal to release dead or live bait into Minnesota waters? My dad did tell me something about that, but I don't really understand what the big deal is. Isn't it nice to let those little minnows have a chance for a nice life? Well, it's nothing against minnows. It's just that unwanted or invasive species could be hiding in the bait water. How? It just looks like minnows to me. Yeah, aquatic invasive species can spread through a single drop of water, and they can upset the ecosystem and push out our favorite fish. Sometimes those species are so small you can't even see them with a microscope. And there can even be harmful viruses in there. Oh no! Viruses in lakes? Yeah, it's called viral hemorrhagic septicemia, or VHS for short. It doesn't directly hurt people, but it's really bad for the fish. Okay, so what should I do with my leftover bait then? You can take it home and reuse it for a future trip. If you do that though, you need to exchange the water in the bait bucket with tap or bottled water before you leave the lake. I drink my water. Or you could throw it in the trash. Well, why don't I just give it to you? Sure, I'll take it, but shoot, I wasn't angling for free bait from you. I just loved to fish and wanted to help protect the lakes. Angling. Funny. Don't worry, I know you weren't after my bait. I love fishing too. Thanks for letting me know. See you at school. Now that I know you like to fish too, maybe we can meet here sometime. Yeah, I'd like a fishing buddy. Join, Join us, us and, and many others, others in helping save our lakes from invasive species. Don't release your bait into our waters. We want to have lakes to fish in when we grow up. up.